Ay, sa RC Entertainment, more power po sa inyo. At um, doon naman ho sa um, kasama na rin mo dito yung um, risk allowance din na ng mga um, frontliners at ang katangnais natin ay isama na rin yung, yung mga barangay um, workers po natin na makatanggap din ng um, 500 pesos a day ang tulad ng ating mga um, BHW, ating po mga tanod, pati wala po ng mga um, volunteers natin sa barangay kasama rin yung, yung mga basic health aid kasi kasama rin sila ng mga doktor, ng mga nurses, pati ng mga medical staff natin. So yung risk, risk pay tsaka yung hazard pay, separate po ba yun? Na 500 pesos? Um, kasi ho, lahat po ng mga medical workers ho natin, meron silang current na hazard pay. Kaya yung risk allowance, yun yung additional doon sa um, hazard pay nila. Um, ito naman ay isang paraan para din makapagpasalamat din sa lahat ng mga frontliners. So, so saan po mo manggagaling yung pondo para dito? Yung pondo ay yung i ipapasa namin na supplemental budget mamaya ho. At um, ito kasi yung pondo gagamitin doon sa mga families na hindi nakasama doon sa list ng DSWD. Yun naman ang gagamitin para doon sa hindi po nakasama. Kaya nga ang um, kami rin ay nagpapasalamat sa ating um, Duterte, sa um, national government dahil malaking tulong yung um, social amelioration program nila sa sa aming mga pasigay na po dito. So sino po yung nakatoka na magbigay ng nasabing additional fee or yung hazard pay po sa mga frontliners? Ma'am, um, kapag ko na ipasa na siya, um, pwede na siya kagad i-distribute. Kasi um, alam naman namin na um, nangangailangan din palagi ang um, um, ating mga frontliners na pakain, yun po Paano po ito ibibigay, sir? Per week po or per day? Ma'am, um, pwede po siyang ibigay na isang buo para na rin, uh, para na rin hindi na rin mahirapan yung mga um, frontliners natin dahil nga alam naman natin na um, araw-araw sila lang nagtatrabaho para sa sa lahat ng mga pasyente din natin dito sa lusod ng Pasig. Bali, i-justify na lang siya sa attendance, sir? Parang ganun. Yes, ma'am. Uh, meron naman po tayong attendance at um, alam naman din namin na um, araw-araw nga sila pumapasok sa sa mga hospitals pati sa ating mga barangays. So, uh, hindi ko na pa. Yan lang po. Ayaw yung question. Cheats. 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 Kailan po matatanggap ng ating mga kababayan? Sir, yun hong 8K um, as soon as possible na na maipasa mamaya. Um, Pwede na kagad siyang ipa-distribute dahil nga um, alam naman namin na marami na rin butong sa, 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 sa ating lusot at um, kailangan na talaga yung, yung panggastos para, para ho ma-ipsan yung butong na nararanasan. Paano po guys, paano po yung sistema natin kung sa pag-distribute po ng PK? Well, um, meron po tayong magiging distribution din mula ko sa national government at um, tayo ay um, hihingi ng tulong sa lahat ng mga barangay officials po natin okay. doon sa pag-distribute nito. Panawagan niyo po, Bryce, sa uh, mga pasigenyo? Again, sa lahat po ng mga pasigenyo, um, una-una ko, um, sana ko ay um, sa bahay na lang po tayo para ko safe po tayo lahat. Pati ho, um, kung tayo po ay lalabas ng bahay, doon ho sa mga tinatawag na essential lang ho, doon ho sa pagbili ng pagkain, doon ho sa bangko, doon ho sa mga essential lang ho. At um, asahan nyo ho na ang, na ang inyo pong city council ay palagi po mag-iisip ng mga paraan upang lalo ho natin malabanan ito pong COVID-19. At ang, at ang palagi ko nga akong sinasabi ho na um, we, we shouldn't think of our economic status in our city since we are dealing with um, lives of our pasigenos, which is more important. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Sir, message naman po sa ano, sa mga, specifically sa mga health workers natin. Again, sa lahat po ng mga health workers, um, maraming 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 salamat po. Mula na rin po sa akin, mula po sa um, City Council, mula na rin po sa Pungulong Sun ng Pasig. Um, hindi nyo lang po alam. At um, kayo ho ay palagi ho namin papasalamatan at um, palagi ho kayo kasama sa mga panalangin po namin. 
lalo sa observation nila. Kaya sa loob ko po kami sa lahat ng mga frontliners po at, uh, at mga health workers. Salamat po. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Yes, Madam. Madam Secretary. Unfinished business. A resolution authorizing the Honorable City Mayor Victor Manirey Sen Soto to grant financial support in the amount of 4,000 pesos each to displaced workers of the city of Pasi due to the declaration of enhanced community quarantine in the entire Luzon against the, the further spread of coronavirus disease 2019 COVID-19 and for other purposes. Sponsored by Councilor Reynaldo Arsene and Ventura III. Yes, we we call it Councilor Joy. Mr. Presiding, um, last March 30, the special session of the City Council, I made a proposal, a proposed resolution, to be able to uh, extend help, uh, financial help, yes, yes, to yes. our uh, less fortunate uh, kababayans here in Pasi. Um, it's been uh, more than two weeks ang nakalipas pagmula po ng special session na yun. At ang nangyari po dito sa resolution na to ay uh, inilagay sa isang cadre committee ng inyong lingkod na yes, yes, yes. uh, ating presiding officer upang mapag-aralan. Yun po sa nakalipas na parang linggo ay marami na po ang mga dalina pagbabago. Isa na nga po dito ang bibigay na SAP ng ating uh, national government yung uh, social education program na kung saan ang yung sopro ng Pasi ay makakatanggap mula sa ating national government na nasa 93,000 families na beneficiaries para dito sa sinasabing SAP. Ngayon po, ito po, 93,000 na ito ay malaking mulang pa rin para sa kapuan ng sopro ng Pasi upang makinabaw ng bawang pamilyang Pasigenyo. Kaya po, ah, uh, Ito pong resolution na po na ang naang intensyon ay mabigyan ang ating mga maliliit na kababayan simula po sa mga nagtitinda ng taho, nagtitinda ng fish pork, nagtitinda ng mga hinihaw at ng uh, iba pa. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yan pong, yan pong mga kao na yan, yan pong mga naghahanap buhay na yan ang marangal na kung saan ang magkasimula ng uh, enhanced quality ay Quarantine ay nawalan mo sila ng hanap buhay at pagkakakitaan. Yun po ang intensyon. Yes, yes, yes. Pero ngayon kung araw na ito, ginoon tagapungulo, considering that the City Council will be approving a supplemental budget uh, amounting to 1.5, more than 1.5 billion pesos, ay uh, makakasama na ito itong mga taong aking binabanggit. Kaya po, ang, ang makukuha nila ay imbis na 4,000 pesos ay nasa 8,000 pesos sa pangumagitan po ng supplemental budget na kapatahan sa atin ang panglungsod ngayong araw. So with that, Mr. Presiding, ako uh, pinaniniwala na there's no more need for this resolution considering that they are included. Our uh, Honorable Councilor uh, Oren Pisan, the Chairman of the Committee on uh, Appropriation of Waste and Means, will be sponsoring a supplemental budget amounting to more than 1.5 billion para po matukunan ang pagbibigay ng tulong ng ating lungsod sa ating mga maliliit na mga kababayan. So, with that, uh, with pride and honor, Mr. Presiding, yes, yes, yes. I would like to uh, move for the uh, uh, removal of this resolution in our agenda and I will fully support the supplemental budget ordinance that will be sponsored later on by Councilor Kupisan. Marami salamat po, kinuntag na panunod. So, thank you, Mr. Councilor Jay. Yes, Councilor Raimundo is right next. Mr. Chair, I fully support the uh, results uh, and the decision of the proponent uh, to uh, withdraw this particular uh, resolution. But since it's, this was assigned to me yes, 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 yes. Uh, to make a report of, I just want to say that I did uh, my report yes, yes, yes. Uh, and uh, I'm still submitting the report. Uh, but of course, I go by the decision of the proponent. Thank you. Before that comes the report, since you do have a report, um, is, was there an actual list? Of, of our displaced workers? 
Um, I'm just asking because um, we, we need to make sure that they are also included in the social amelioration of the city of Pasig in the 150,000 targeted. Yes, Mr. President. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yun po sana ang gagawin ko mamaya yes, sa yes. pagpapasa ni Konsyan ng Pisan doon sa supplemental budget. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I will uh, make a manifestation with regards to that that this uh, sector be included provided however that they are not included in the uh, uh, SPSA list by the national yes. government. So, para lang po klaro and uh, para on record din ang mga visual signing. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Councilor Emilio for the report. Sorry, I wasn't able to mention it a while ago. Uh, thank you, Councilor Emilio. Thank you, Mr. Presiding. Thank you, Councilor Joy and um, Councilor Ray Bouton. My pleasure. Thank you. Madam Secretary number two in our agenda, unfinished business. Yes. A resolution authorizing the Honorable City Mayor Victor Maria Soto to grant financial support for the amount of to its frontliners employees of the city government of Pasig. Again, uh, also, as per discussed earlier, which is also um, also headed by a uh, councilor, Raymundo also, uh, I do believe that um, our city hall employees who have been uh, going to work every day will also be included in the supplemental budget. Um, can we, Councilor Gori, uh, maybe we could ask, uh, it does include everyone who is currently working every day. Um, yes, Vice. Yes, yes. Actually, uh, my comment here is, as it was written, uh, yes. it says uh, providing certain financial assistance yes. to frontliners of the city government in the uh, coronavirus epidemic uh, quarantine. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, when I studied the resolution, there are various administrative orders by Malacanang which can cover the frontline workers, except that uh, Malacanang makes a, di a, di a distinction between the frontline workers who are public health workers, yes, 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 yes. meaning to say the medical doctors, the nurses, the medical staff, medical staff. the PHA, and PHA. the PH. Uh, and the village the uh, So they have special mention in the AO uh, 26, but not the other frontline workers. Yes, yes, yes. So in the report that I made, I was recommending that we separate them because they could not be covered by the whole list of um, of assistants, the different kinds of assistants that are public health workers. Um, Councillor Raymundo, um, since we can pass it all up together as a whole, um, is it possible to um, actually um, categorize um, which frontliner um, employees would be getting from um, our city government? Let's say our sweepers, utility, um, um, the um, DPMO or OBS. Yes, 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 yes. According to the administrative order, yes, yes. Those who are on duty, on duty, the, the public uh, employees, yes, yes, yes. Whether they are casual, on uh, contract, JO, as well as of course the permanent are entitled to the hazard pay. Yes, yes, yes. They call it the COVID hazard pay, which is uh, equivalent to 500 pesos per day each day that they are working or yes, each yes, day yes. that they need report for work. Maliwagan po yun sa AO26. Kaya hindi ko po naman siya magsali dun sa overall uh, uh, measures and support for the public health workers because mas marami po yung sa health, sa health workers. Yes. 
So um, again, um, it would be 500 pesos per day. And um, would you know, Councilor Ori, um, when, when can it start? Um, does it start when the quarantine started? Um, there is already a computation yes, yes, yes. Uh, that has been submitted and it is already included in the supplemental budget. budget. Okay. That would be passed later, Mr. Presiding Officer. Maybe it was around 200 million plus. So um, the, uh, all those uh, people that was mentioned by Councillor Tori is uh, included in the, in, the, in, the, in the supplemental budget, Mr. Presiding Officer. Thank you, Councilor Ali. Again, um, also, just to acknowledge um, Ms. Val is here from the Mayor's Office, um, Ma'am Ma Delia Concepcion from our Budget Office is also here, Ma'am Juvi Cuenco from our Accounting Office, <coughs> Dita Marita is here from our Treasury Office, Rock Stewart, and Doc Madaligan from our CPL office are um, all here as well. With that, um, with that said that this um, certain resolution will also be included in our supplemental budget for that secretary. Um, so I guess we can remove this from our agenda. Since they are all included, all of our city hall employees for the uh, 500 a day benefit against the um, coronavirus. Thank you. Number three, Madame.